Hi, this is Joe and welcome back to the shop. I want to wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving. Um, this is uh, Thanksgiving morning and in between uh, helping my wife uh, get ready for the bird and all the fixings, I come out and sneak out into the garage here and I do, I've been doing a little cleaning. Here's a new addition to the shop. This is a Gorton uh, vertical mill. Um, it's a 9J and according to the serial number it's around 1954. Um, I picked it up from a gentleman who uh, had it covered uh, for about 20 years, used it very infrequently. Uh, he bought it through uh, an auction at his company and they had it for a number of years in the tool room so it doesn't look like it's had very much use. Uh, it's not too bad, a little bit of rust, so I've been, uh, I've been degreasing and de-rusting. Uh, I'll take the camera here and uh, take it around and we'll take some different views. I have the, uh, the head off and outside. Uh, I'm doing some cleaning and de-rusting and uh, I will, uh, and probably uh, uh, stripping with some paint stripper. And uh, we'll be then bringing it inside and mounting it uh, on, on top on the head here. So uh, let's, let me uh, reposition the camera, show you some different shots, and then I'll show you some cleaning that I'm doing. This is the uh, left or right uh, from facing the mill, the uh, right hand side. I'm, gonna, I'm hand holding the camera here because I'm stuck on space. So um, again, it's not too terribly bad. It was covered up for 20 years. Um, it is a huge, huge beast. Um, it's a, over 4,000 pounds. I had to pull the head off to get it into the garage. Um, the, the gentleman I pur purchased it from was nice enough to help me uh, move it, but oh, what a beast it is. Um, I'm going through and doing, again, lots of cleaning. I'm going to be doing some painting, and then we're going to wire it up. I have a VFD on order, a uh, variable frequency drive to power the, it's a three-phase uh, 230 volt, so it should be pretty easy to convert uh, to single phase uh, 220 with uh, the VFD. Let me pull over to the other side now. Here's a view from uh, the left hand side and uh, it does have a, uh, a, a coolant, uh, coolant system built in. It has a, a flow coolant system. I'm going to um, modify that, maybe do a, uh, a mist cooling as well as uh, a flood cooling system. Um, Again, let me pan over a little bit here. Uh, it was covered down with uh, uh, the LSP grease. So uh, there's uh, all the ways and all the table and the top was all covered. So uh, there is some rust on some of the controls, uh, but all the ways and things uh, and the gibs are all pretty, w pretty good shape uh, because again, he covered it and put LPS, which is a very thick uh, corrosion resistant grease. Okay, let me uh, go outside here, pop the garage door. It's raining like crazy here in uh, supposedly sunny California uh, here on Thanksgiving morning. So I'm doing some work in the garage. Let me uh, open the garage door and get a shot of the uh, the mill head. Here's the mill head. Uh, that's a three horsepower uh, motor there on top. It has a high and low speed and it has a series of pulleys. As you can hear it is just raining like crazy out here. I'm doing some uh, stripping and degreasing and de-rusting uh, and then I'll bring it inside and mount it on top of the mill. Here's a shot of the uh, top or the base for the milling head. Uh, it was really greased up and rusty. So uh, this is the, f I could of course can't pull this off and soak it. So I used that uh, the Rust-Oleum rust dissolver on top of this. It's a, it's a gel. You spray it on. I am brushed it, brushed it around with a, uh, a small Harbor Freight brush. And they say as long as you keep it wet, it will keep on uh, dissolving rust. I let it set, oh, for about 20, 30 minutes. And uh, it's amazing. It uh, Normally, I, I, if I use Evaporust, I let it set overnight. But this stuff cleaned up and converted the rust uh, in a matter of, again, about 20, 30 minutes. I then took a... Uh, um, uh, a plastic brushed uh, brush or a plastic uh, a bristle brush and scrubbed uh, scrubbed everything down and uh, took the uh, 
took the gibbs off and I'm soaking those now, but uh, I was really impressed with the job of uh, this rust dissolver. And uh, right before I paint it, I'll wipe everything down. But uh, it's looking really well, and I really like the, the job that it did. Here's what I'm using uh, for cleaning products, uh, for uh, um, degreasing and getting uh, soaking the parts. Initially, I used the, uh, the Zepp Industrial Purple Degreaser. Uh, for items that need paint stripping, I'm using uh, Citrus Strip, which is uh, working really well. Uh, for larger parts um, uh, that need uh, de-rusting, I'm using the uh, Rust-Oleum Rust Dissolver. And I've never used this before, and I've used it on some of the top dovetails and the, and the gibbs on the, the mill, and it works really well. It's a gel and you spray it on and as long as you keep it wet it will de-rust and it de-rusts in a matter of 15-20 uh, minutes it is really nice for the smaller parts I'm using a vapor rust and that you uh, put the small parts in a in a container and I put the evapor rust in there and cover cover them up uh, you know above the the parts and I let it usually set overnight and that works really well um, here are some parts uh, that I have been um, degreasing and de-rusting and uh, I've wiped them down uh, with a PB blaster uh, with their penetrating uh, catalyst and it also has a preservative in it so uh, prevent things from rusting further so let me zoom in here a little bit these are some uh, of the parts so far these are all parts from the mill head uh, I pulled pulled them off they were really rusty and uh, pretty grody so um, I've got these cleaned up I'm going to keep on pulling things off and uh, cleaning them and stripping them preparing them uh, to be put back on the mill uh, let's pan over here a little bit I have some of the um, uh, the spindle handles and uh, the top brake for the pulley and these have been sprayed with the uh, citrus strip and they're uh, just they're ready now to be uh, wire brushed down I'm really impressed with the citrus strip. It does not burn your fingers. It's biodegradable. It's really nice. It works quite well. So uh, that's it for now. Everyone have a wonderful Thanksgiving uh, or holiday, whichever holiday you're uh, celebrating or about to celebrate. I'm going to be helping the wife today in the kitchen. And again, I'll try to sneak out every once in a while and do a little work on the mill. So uh, I'll be doing a reoccurring series here on my progress of restoring this, uh, this huge beast of a milling machine. And uh, we'll see you in upcoming videos. Thanks.